to slow down Fireplace, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out to curtains brew some herbal tea This week I've been doing fun things to help me stay loose in my art practice, so I'll share those with you, and also some ways I have been lifting my spirits and shifting a mood from a sad, bad or grumpy one to feeling much happier and more positive. If I'm really honest, I've had a funny week where I'm not totally settled. A big part of my brain power has been thinking about loved ones who are going through a particularly bumpy time. All I wish for is that things soften and brighten up soon. I'm also sending this wish for you too, if you need it. Painting has been such a blessing and a joy this week, even though Tuesday was a write-off. I'll explain later about that. But I'm so pleased I made lots of time for creating. I feel like I'm starting to push through some of the barriers now and explore some new directions to my art that still feel like me though, if you know what I mean. I'll make a whole other video one day about art styles and finding your own style because it's such a huge topic and it's something I definitely have had some really confusing parts in my own journey. I mean, it's really, really wonderful to get inspired by other artists online. And there's so much beautiful artwork out there to fill our inspiration cups, isn't there? But then you do that thing that you shouldn't be doing. You end up scrolling on Instagram for too long and you lose confidence. Yes, you know, you compare yourself to others. Actually, I found an easy cure for that. Keep it simple and don't scroll. Or what I like to do is scroll with intention. So by that I mean, if it's one of your go-to inspiration places, like for me, Instagram, then yes, by all means, do scroll. But if you're feeling insecure anyway, then we just tend to judge ourselves even more harshly, don't we? I just switch off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm not saying don't scroll, don't scroll at all, because it's wonderful to become inspired by things that are out there. And I do love to have a scroll myself, but I only do it when I'm relaxing or wish to be inspired. Over the years, any artist that has really influenced my work at certain stages, I temporarily unfollow. Now, that may sound a bit weird, 
but I can always come back to them when I'm over it, if you like. It's a bit like a food addiction, when you can't stop eating a certain thing, and then you get to a point where you're ready to move on. When I made the video of the story of me becoming a full-time artist, I mentioned something really relevant to this, and that was, go within, listen to your inner soul, truly touch base with your heart. Because when you do, it definitely has all the answers. I do my really important soul searching with the trees, on a beach or up a mountain. Nature helps a lot because you're in the best company of Mother Nature and she's always with you in some form anyway. Whether a little weed pushing through the concrete somewhere or a plant in your room that you love and nurture, she's there. I've written very few poems over the years, but it reminds me of a part of one that I wrote in 2017. I ground in trees and bury deep my tiny little fairy feet in sacred Mother Earth, and she never leaves my side, she never leaves my side, and because of this I am unstoppable for all of time complete. I wrote that when we were house-sitting on the Great Orm in North Wales, and I think it was about 3am. <laughs> Big love to all humans in these crazy times. And sometimes, when I don't feel like doing any of the things I've shared in this video, I just know that I need to peace out with a silly movie and a glass of wine. And that's okay too. So let's have some tea, shall we? Yeah. Cheers to you. Welcome back to my studio if you've been around before and welcome, special welcome if you're new as well here. Thanks for coming over to the Unexpected Studio. And I'm having a really good morning so far. It took me a little while to get going this morning because I had a, hesi a hesitancy, to say that right, Hesi I was hesitant, hesitant. Anyway, I was a little bit slow starting out with my artwork this morning. And I haven't been in the studio for four days now, so I think that's probably why. And so I started big and loosened up. I was going through all my, um, my old degree work and my foundation course. And in those days, we had classes where we did a lot of larger, looser type things as exercises. And um, we were doing that regularly. So it really did keep you creating and also keep you loose and uh, free. So I thought, hmm, I think I'll do something like that. So I got my big brush um, and my black ink and my white paint, and I just had a little play in a really abstract way. And I'm really enjoying working on the floor again. Now I've got this plastic tablecloth thing down. Mm. Kind of makes me feel like quite childlike being on the floor and playing. Yeah, because I used to do a lot of that as a little girl with all my toys out and that kind of thing. Or when I used to sit on the floor with my own little girl and play with her toys, with her. Yeah, it makes me feel kind of, yeah, reminiscent of those days, really. And this area here, when I feng shuied my studio, you've seen that video, I worked out all the different corners of the room, if you like, and this turned out to be creativity in children. So I've got career and life paths here. And then what's in that corner? That's helpful people. And then there is children and creativity. So I am surrounded by good energy for my creativity. It's great, isn't it? And if you're not into Feng Shui, then just ignore that. But I am, and it's, uh, yeah, it's really helped me out just mapping out my studio so I know where to put things, where fixes are needed. And I thought there'd be more fixes needed in this room because it's got, it's got a big beam above my head up there. And also it's, a kind of triangular shaped room so it's kind of missing areas but when I feng shui the room I saw those two big windows as portals into the area that it corresponded to if you like so yeah anyway the reason I'm talking to you now is because I was waiting for my art journal page to dry I used some acrylics on it today and I had been doing some watercolors but today I fancied a different colour combination, so I thought I'd go in, go in a bit bolder with my um, acrylics. And yeah, so I just need to wait for that to dry, which it's dry now, so I can do the next layers on it. I probably put on some of my most favourite thing at the moment, which is gold. 
think I'll do that. And they're going to write on here as well. So, yeah. But I will come back and talk to you in a little while and I'll maybe have another little tea break with you. So I've come in this morning, I've had to do all the things to help me out of a grumpy mood. So I've done everything I could to feel better, basically, when I was feeling rubbish. And I couldn't come in the studio yesterday because I think I've had a trapped nerve in my hip. So I could barely walk yesterday, but I'm feeling much better today. And um, yeah, so it's all good. And I thought this morning I would continue with my trying to make myself feel better when I'm not feeling good. So let's think then, what things have I done this morning? Because I know you're going to ask me. Um, I've kind of just done the basics really. And the most important thing I think was to just try and stay calm because I wasn't feeling very calm. I was feeling quite anxious and a little bit like a mild panic attack coming on if you like. Mm, I'm not sure why. I know I haven't slept much in the last couple of nights and that's mainly to do with my hip. So that doesn't help, does it? I think when we don't sleep, it's such a, a negative impact on our day, mostly. But it is rather common at the moment, isn't it? Amongst a lot of people. So what things did I do then to feel better? Let me think. I made myself some calming tea, so that always helps. I think it had lavender and something else in it. And I also used some lavender oil, which I put on me. And it was delicious because I've got this lovely new organic one. I had an extra long shower and did lots of self-care things within that. Extra long hair brushing. For some reason I just think that's really really helpful to brush your hair, massage your scalp and things like that. And I put some hair oil in and things like that. Yeah I just made sure to do all the things, you know what I mean, all the basics and just spent extra time doing them so that I felt truly loved by me. <laughs> It sounds a bit silly, doesn't it, when you say it out loud sometimes, or when I say it out loud, I sometimes think, oh, that sounds a bit funny, but it really makes a difference. One of the things that truly makes a difference for me is water. I don't know if it's because I'm a fire sign, but whether I have a shower or a bath or a salt bath or swim, it's a really quick way for me to turn my day around and shift my mood. I think for me this week has been, apart from having poorly hip, um, and being in quite a lot of pain yesterday, which I think in itself is tiring, isn't it? I think this week has been loosening up with my artwork, so trying a few, few new things. Not new things, but things that I haven't done for a long time. And then dipping back into my art journaling as well, because I haven't really worked in my art journal for quite some time, which, yeah, it's kind of usual for me to dip in and out of things. So that's okay, but it's nice to be back in there. And I'm thinking within my, my journal play, I might actually discover some new designs for postcards or mini prints or something like that. So I'm quite excited. And I think the other thing that this week is about for me is shifting my mindset and keeping myself as positive as possible. And I think that lovely weather is helping as well. So I haven't done any more mods to the studio to show you. We did, we did think about coming in at the weekend to do them, but yeah, in the end, we just stayed at home and pottered and went for walks and things like that. So sometimes you just need that time off, don't you, just to switch off a little bit from work. And even though it's not technically work, it's, um, it still was nice to, to stay home. So I haven't tidied the Oval Office, as you can see. It's still a mess. And um, let's see if I can turn you around over here. The, um, oh, straighten you up a bit, sorry. Yeah, the art area, move the chair. The art area is working really, really well. Um, and I've just got more room for more, all my stuff just to keep it out, the bits and bobs I'm using and stuff like that. And it just feels really inspiring. So it really invites me into the space much more than it, than it had been. So that's working really well. So what am I gonna do first then? Mm. I think I might cut my hair, I might cut my hair and then I might cut James's hair as well because he really wants a haircut and it's full moon at midday today so I want to do that before the full moon. We always try and cut our hair around the full moon or the new moon. I think if you cut your hair just before the full moon I think that helps it grow long and then just before the new moon that helps it 
go sick or is it the other way round? I can't remember, it's one or the other, I'll have to look it up. So hairdressing now complete, so we can get on with some work. <laughs> So I've got some painting in today which I'm really pleased about because it's another thing that really does lift my spirits and obviously I couldn't come in yesterday so I didn't have my little painting session I usually have Monday Tuesday Wednesday and sometimes Friday and then Thursday is my creative free day if you like and I do a lot of admin and a lot of editing and things like that so I mean editing is really creative I find but at the same time it's not the same as actually painting and creating art so I did something a little bit different to, than I was expecting. I thought I was going to do a more written out gratitude page, which I think I'll do in my writing journal to go alongside this little page. And I quite like how it's turned out. It's really loose. Um, and again, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll perhaps remember that I've been saying for quite a few months now that I'm trying to get really loose and stay loose. Yeah, it's harder when you're working small like this to stay loose but I think I've managed to stay quite loose hopefully anyway on that one and then this one as well at the back um, I don't know if you can see very well but yeah I've tried to stay loose on that one as well and um, yeah so I've changed up my color palette a little bit I've done them kind of both quite similar really although I did add a little bit of blue on this one which I haven't done on that one and I don't think I'm going to actually although I do like it and it's nice to have the contrast of work with the with the dark background ones and then the pieces which are more summery colours, I think. For the flower power, it works really well, I think. And these could just be flowers in the moonlight, couldn't they? I think they are, actually. <laughs> so I also did this one, which is just a background layer to start me off. And I'm wondering whether to 
do some flowers on here as well. This is my watercolour block and I was basically just using up any paint that was on my palette and mixing up the different colours and things like that I could I could make with my with my colours that were left. I don't like wasting paint so yeah quite like that one as well. So thanks so much for keeping me company while I've been painting today. I've really enjoyed your company as I always do. So you can let me know in the comments what you do to lift your spirits if you're feeling tired or sad or down or grumpy grumpy like me this morning and then we can all share ideas and then maybe perchance if there's somebody watching who is feeling down and tired and low spirits they can look for ideas in there because i'll Anyway, I always enjoy reading your comments. And I think I'm going to go home now and have some late lunch because I'm getting hungry. So I'll leave you in peace. Try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just like